everyone. Silver Joker here. Okay, so listen. If you are not stacking constitutional silver, this podcast here is almost certainly going to change your mind. And if you are stacking constitutional silver and have been stacking constitutional silver for a while, you're going to really appreciate this podcast. And so I'm going to show you guys a clip from five years ago, me purchasing physical silver from Phil, my local coin store owner. And uh, once you watch that, I'm going to make it all make sense. So you really want to stick around for this one. I think you guys are going to be very interested in what I got to say here. And I'm going to show you guys something that a lot of people are probably not aware of. So anyway, stick around. Sounds good to me. Let me go ahead and go ahead and make this last final little thing here. So this is going to be uh, what, what we what we say, Phil. We had uh, thirty thirty six dollars yeah, yeah, thirty six dollars face, and uh, well, actually thirty six to seventy eight and now forty. I think what that'd be uh, forty dollars face. Forty two face. Yeah, forty two face with the Morgans and. Uh, there you go, so that's how it's done, YouTube. This is what we're doing, YouTube. We're taking this kind of paper money here. Four, five. And we're giving that to Phil. We're giving him that uh, paper money, which is uh, not going to be worth as much yeah. <laughs> in the future. <laughs> and, uh, and we get the real money, the money that's going to really uh, be worth something in the future. All right, Phil, thank you very I much, my friend. And you. I definitely will be back. All right, so uh, my total came up to 1625. Well, as you can see, this is January 2019, just about a year before all hell breaks loose with the uh, lockdowns and all that kind of stuff. So everything was pretty much, you know, business as usual. Eleven dollars face for constitutional silver was normal. But I wanted to put, I want you to see something here. If you look right here, you can see that I also bought. 15 Morgan dollars for $19 each and American Silver Eagles, I bought 13 of those for $18 each, $18 for American Silver Eagles. And I'm going to tell you guys something. I bought a lot of American Silver Eagles during this time, a lot. And I bought, I rough, I paid just about what you're seeing here, maybe a little bit over, sometimes a little bit less than that, but this was where silver prices were at this time. And I bought a lot of silver during this time. A lot of three nines fine silver, a lot of premium silver, you know, maple leaves and the American silver eagles. And, and we thought that, you know, those prices for premium silver were a little high. <laughs> now try to find an American silver eagle for $18 today or a Morgan silver dollar for $19 today. I mean, those were the days. We'll go ahead and get that done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I'm gonna have to give him sixteen fifty to change back. Alright, so let's count this one more time. I don't want to cheat Phil, he's such a good guy. So we'll uh, count one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 50. All right, so why did I show you guys that? Why did we take that trip back in time? All right, I'm gonna make it make sense here real soon. All right, so let's go to Money Metals Exchange real quick. All right, so Money Metals Exchange right now, today is May 5th, 2023. They're buying constitutional silver at $20.91 per $1 face. That's what they're paying for 90% silver, junk silver. As you guys saw in November, 2018, I bought $36 face um, in constitutional silver. And I paid about paid about $10.05 per $1 face, if you do the math. Following January, I bought $100 face. And I paid $11 per $1 face for that. Now, if you do the math, 
That's $136 face. I spent $1,461.80 for all of that combined. It was an average of about $10.50 per $1 face between November and January, November 2018 and January 2019. So I want you to keep something in mind, those of you who weren't stacking constitutional silver. You could get it usually between $10.50 and $12. Usually could get it under $12 and probably not too much under $10.50. That was usually the average, right in that range. So if I sold just that $136 face value, now you guys know, of course, I bought silver before that, before <laughs> November 2018. And I've been buying constitutional silver since then. As you guys know, I've taken you with me on a lot of those purchases. So if we just stick with that, those are the ones that I can show you visually. I can show you visual proof of how much I paid for this junk silver, for this 90% um, silver face value. All right, so if I just sold that today, I could sell it right now for $20.91. Now keep in mind, I paid an average of $10.50 per $1 face. And now I can sell that same $1 face for $20.91. So what I spent $1,461.80 for five years ago, I can almost double that today if I wanted to sell it today. Now, I don't consider buying physical silver as an investment. Me, personally, I don't consider it an investment. But for all those who do consider it an investment, I want you to think real hard about an investment you can make that will double your initial investment in that time frame. And don't say Bitcoin, because obviously I've included that in the not very many. But think about this. <laughs> it only gets better because constitutional silver is not being created. What's out there is out there. So imagine that. The price and value is growing. It is growing. I've just demonstrated to you guys how it's growing. I made another video before and I showed you guys how it has grown. It has quietly moved into premium silver status because if you broke it down by the ounce, you would be paying close to $40 an ounce for constitutional silver. And we're talking about just your pre-1965 constitutional silver coins, not your Morgan and Peace dollars or your graded numismatic value constitutional silver, 90% silver. We're talking about just your regular run of the mill coins. So if constitutional silver value has doubled in five years, why would it not continue to increase in value over time? Because nothing's gonna change. They're not gonna make any more of it. People are not gonna suddenly just stop buying constitutional silver. The price is only gonna go up. The value is only gonna go up. So this is the opportunity. Right now is the opportunity to buy as much constitutional silver as you could possibly stack. And the reason why that is is because one, it's gonna be in demand because it's silver. Now, the bad part about this, and I guess the good part as well, is there's gonna be more silver added to the silver supply because of constitutional silver being melted down and the fine silver being extracted from it. That just adds more silver to the silver supply, but it won't be constitutional silver. So in a sense, it's adding more silver to the silver supply, which I guess is a good thing, depending on how you look at it. But constitutional silver coins are being destroyed. People are buying them and they're tucking them away. They're not selling them as often as they were and they're being consumed or being destroyed. And so how can the value not continue to grow? There is not a point where the supply is gonna outstrip the demand. It's just not gonna happen. There are more and more people every day buying silver for the first time and starting their own stacks, and that's gonna increase demand on the supply. And industry, there are more and more silver hungry products and systems being developed that's also gonna put a demand on silver. And a lot of that silver is gonna be constitutional silver. So right now, as far as I'm concerned, is the time to take advantage of the opportunity that, that constitutional silver is providing. I mean, I can sell, I just showed you guys, I can sell this constitutional silver that I bought five years ago and double, double what I paid for. And I have a lot more than just $136 face value. And if I wanted to sell that, I could sell it and make a very good profit. And not because I'm some financial 
guy or be, not because I'm rich and got a bunch of money that I can spend on constitutional silver. No, it's because I chose a point in time to start stacking physical silver. I saw the value in it and I started stacking it. And there were lots of opportunities that I missed because of the time I started stacking silver. And I didn't have somebody like me telling you that this is a good opportunity. I had to discover these things a lot on my own. Of course, you have to make your own decision about it, but just think about it, look into it and see if it's not something that's right for you. Anyway, just wanted to share that with you guys. Constitutional silver is the silver to stack. Not the only silver to stack, but absolutely, if you're gonna stack silver, have some constitutional silver in your stack. Get as much as you possibly think you can afford. Put it in your stack. I believe you're going to be glad you did. As of this podcast, there's plenty of constitutional silver out there. It is becoming a little harder to get your hands on, but there's plenty of it out there. I was just down to my local coin store, and uh, he had a good supply of it, and there's some online. So, you know, there's no reason to rush. There's no fear of missing out. But I do believe that the constitutional silver you buy today is going to increase in value as time goes on. More good content coming up. I did buy some more constitutional silver. It's on the way. I'll show you guys that when it gets here. I bought some from my local coin store. I'll show you guys that in my next video. You know, we're just going to keep the silver train rolling. Constitutional silver. It is what's for dinner. <laughs> Appreciate you guys stopping by. Keep stacking. Peace.